hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk about five common mistakes to avoid when shading with the pen Before we proceed, I will really love it if you can like this video, share and subscribe to my channel as it will encourage me to upload more tutorials relating to pen in general. So let's get back into the video. The first is lack of proportion while shading. It is always wrong for any artist to start sketching without guidelines that will give the sketch a good and equal proportion to the reference image used. You either use the free and guide method or the grid method. What good artists do is to always sketch with guidelines using their pencil, make guidelines for the sketch and follow the flow of the guideline to execute their drawings. If you are not good with using the free hand guideline. I recommend you use the gridding method for a better proportion in your drawings. The second is avoid drawing reference lines too dark. When trying to draw your reference image, avoid always starting with a very dark and thick outline especially in realistic drawings. Always start softly with gentle strokes on your paper. This way, your work will look more realistic and your mistakes won't be visible to your audience and will help in maintaining a very clean work throughout the process. The third one is avoid not cleaning the tip of your pen before shading. Before starting any drawing with your pen, if you start without cleaning the tip, then your first stroke on your paper will make the bleeding from the pen to stain your work. Always clean the tip before starting and don't forget to start with a very light pressure to reduce the chances of your pen bleeding frequently.
Uh, number four is avoid using a bad reference photo. Using a bad reference image can be so frustrating as many details needed to make your work stand out will be lost, especially images that appear blur when you zoom in. However, when your images are crisp and clear, you will achieve a better drawing because you can see the basic shapes and details in your image even after zooming in. Number 5 is avoid replacing shading with heavy pen strokes or outlines. So, in a case where some part of your reference image has a shading transition, like in this my drawing, there is no heavy outline separating the image from the background and this will make the drawing look real. So in cases like this, you have to use very light outlines to shade your image to a realistic satisfaction. As you can see, while I was shading this part of the mouse, I didn't use thick strokes or outline to get this result. So what I did here was use shading techniques to bring out the shape of the mouth. Here are two extra tips I would like to include in this tutorial. In the case of using a low quality paper, do not try to go really dark and heavy on the paper as it will damage the paper and spoil your work. What I recommend is to shade in layers. Overlapping these layers will help in achieving a very smooth dark shade without having to spoil the cheap paper. Continue to overlap each layers together using the cross hatching technique until you achieve a dark and smooth shade. The last tip I will give is whenever you are drawing, always lay your hand on a separate paper to avoid smudging your work and staining your paper with oily skin. The best I will recommend is getting an artist glove as it is less stressful and easier to work with without having to smudge your work and stain your paper. So we have come to the end of today's tutorial and thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks and see you in my next tutorial.